Hello everyone, I am Umar Javed, Business Development Manager at CyberPanel. In this video, I will give you a demo on how to restore backups v2 on remote server. CyberPanel provides a way to restore backup v2 on a remote server. If you have previously created backups v2 on old servers and have lost access to those servers, you can still restore them to a remote server by using the backend configuration from the old server. Backup v2 refers to incremental backups that utilize the R clone configuration in the background. Currently, CyberPanel offers G Drive and SFTP backup configurations through the user interface. However, it is possible to configure other backends supported by R clone using the R clone command line interface. Before creating the backup, it is required to configure the backend first. For this, in the CyberPanel dashboard, select Backup V2, select Configure Backends, select Website and select Backup Type, either G Drive or SFTP. Moreover, you can also configure other R clone supported backends from the command line. Here you can check the R clone backup storage list. In order to configure the backend from the command line, you must have to configure it from the CyberPanel for G Drive or SFTP because it will auto create the R clone con config file where the new backend configuration would be saved. This will not be available with the default site creation. So, access server SSH, navigate to home directory, select the site for which you want to configure the backend command, log in with the username for respective site, run the rclone config command. This will display list, select the new remote and enter name for your backend. Now, enter the AWS credentials. You will get access key ID and secret access key from the provider AWS. Now select the region and select next options as default. Now this would be available under home site config rclone, rclone.config. After configure the backend from command line, now this back would be available under home site config rclone config. This will also visible inside server panel by accessing backup v2, select create or restore v2, backup. To restore the backup to the remote server, you must first create a site on the remote server. Follow these steps. Access the Cyber Panel remote server, create a new site with the exact domain name as the one in the backup. In the next step, you will need to add the backup v2 new destination, specifically for creating an R clone file. Follow these steps, go to backup v2, select configure backends, choose G drive or SFTP as the backend from the old destination where the backups are stored. Create a temporary destination. Upon successfully adding the destination, this process will automatically generate files. Here, you can include the repository backend details. Alternatively, you have the option to manually create the folder and file either through the terminal or by using SFTP. In this scenario, ensure that you replicate the backend folder and file structure. In the next step, copy the backend from where the backup was created in an old server. Go to homesite.com, configure rclone folder and open the rclone config file and copy the backend configuration, a repo configuration where backup stored. You will see the multiple repos, but choose only one which you use for the restoration of the site. Also, it can be copied from the terminal using this command line, cat home site.com, config rclone, rclone.config. Copy the backend information from the rclone.config file. Next, navigate to the remote server and access the file in the identical location, home site.com config rclone, Open the rclone.config file and insert the copied content either at the very beginning or end of the file. After adding this content, a new repo will appear under the select repo list. Finally, to complete the process, restore the site to the remote server by choosing the respective repository. Go to remote server panel dashboard, navigate to backup v2, click on restore v2 backup, choose the specific website you want to restore, 
select the appropriate repository from the list, the one you added for the backup. Once these selections are made, the backup files will be retrieved and you will be able to restore backups. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, drop it in the comment section of this video and stay tuned for more videos.